Hello everybody, welcome to my life, my travels, my adventures. This is Colin and I'd like to say Merry Christmas to all. Today is the 24th of December. It is about 1225 here in Heidelberg. So I'm sitting in the parking lot right now, just finished eating a quick lunch. And I'm gonna walk through the old part of the city. Well, the, the main part that everybody is more familiar with all the way down to where the river is at. Get a little video just to see what Christmas is like. On New Year's, New Year, huh? I keep wanting to say New Year's. On Christmas Eve in Heidelberg, Germany. New Year's next week. So anyway, it's a little gray outside. Looks like it might rain, I hope it doesn't. It's about a cool 50 degrees. So we'll see how this walk goes. And, I got a nice coat on that I picked up a couple weeks ago when I got here. <laughs> well, after I've been here a while. So let's go do this walk. I'm gonna start videoing again when I get to the main pedestrian zone where everybody is walking and stuff. It may not be too many people. There's not a lot of people around right now because for Germans, this is really considered a holiday. All the shops and stores will close early if they haven't already because it's 1226 I think I just heard on the radio maybe about two so if you don't get your shopping in before then that's it so let's go take a walk later now so we made it to the pedestrian zone there's one of the main squares bus stops and such and each and in so appears to be a lot of people here all the shops and such barriers And it's about, a, I don't know, 20 minute walk to get down to the old part of the city. So we shall see in all the shops. Lingerie. Had a coffee in that shop. So, quite a few people here on Christmas Eve. And a lot of the shops are still open. Of course, I haven't been down here in 
over four years, almost five years. So it's time to see if all the familiar places I know are still here, if they survived after COVID. Normally, there would be a big Christmas market going on right now, but all those are closed down due to COVID. This would be all lit up. And this area here would be lots of stands. This restaurant coming up here, I think it's called an extra block. We'd be making a killing. But there is nothing here. There is extra block. That's a good restaurant right there to eat. Five guys. Never been in there. And this, wow, CNA, nice shop to go. Looking for clothes in. Always a sale.
So as we're moving on, it looks like it's starting to get darker. It might rain, but we hope not. So this is Germany, sitting outside, having a coffee. I like this. So it looks like the old Irish bar I went to a couple times is still here. <clears throat> What's that called? Like it says, hotel and Irish pub. I think it was called the Dubliner or Dubliner. We'll see soon. Dubliner, there it is. But that is closed. I think if I remember right, if there was a Binox Fest, it would be right here. This whole place would be full, lit up. But not this year. Everything's canceled. And there's Starbucks all you Starbucks fans.
right there. And this part we get to is where all the restaurants are at. See, they even give you a blanket on the chair. So I have to take a break. I am sweating. I'll be back. And we're moving on again. Right, here's a couple of nice restaurants coming up. I'm gonna have to do a little pause. One's German, one's Vietnamese. So for the German one, if you ever want to eat Hoxen, this will be the place. And it's called Ombroy, uh, it's called Gasse. You can get big ham hocks there. Very good restaurant. And the other one is right here. It's closed. The Vietnamese restaurant. Saigon Sunhe. But it is closed right now. So we move on. So we're getting, this is the main part that would be fully decorated with everything if it hadn't been for COVID. Big church here, which is way too big to really get on the camera lens. This is the main part you may see on all the pictures. In the summer, this whole square out here is full of tables and benches. And tables and chairs. Because really, all around here is restaurants, and they all would have their tables and chairs set out in a full circle. 
you only have one little place over there that place that's serving that's it such a shame there's a cafe way over there got something out but due to COVID so sad everything is closed but it's nice here in this square really pretty building those buildings colorful and the huge church once again and if you go in one of these corners you can get a peek at the castle Let's try. you can see it get like this try to do a little slowly zoom in there's the castle that's as close as I can get like they had something something set up down there but it's quiet the tents with the red and white stripes but nothing is going on so and this is a look back and that's about it so I'll try to get a couple pictures and then head on back to the end. And, and so that brings us to the end of our journey here. Not a whole lot going on on Christmas Eve, but it's a nice walk. So hope everybody enjoyed it. It's time for me to go on home. Stretch my legs out, my old legs, so pretty good. Now it's time to go home and change some gifts. I bought a few things. A lot of things. So, this is it. I'm signing off from Heidelberg, Germany. Wish everybody a very Merry Christmas. See you again on New Year's Eve, which will be also quiet because here, um, Fireworks are forbidden. So, it'll be a quiet New Year's Eve, too. So, everybody take care now. Bye.